Okay, so he comes out when I push that one in. Maybe you need to push them all in, right? In a certain way, like a pattern. And then press the button. So, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Resident Evil. Um, we're making our way back to the hall again. Just to try and get our bearings and um, figure out where to go next. Come back through the door where Richard has died. And there's a zombie in here. I don't think it's Richard because I can see like a green thing on the floor there. I think that's Richard's leg. I don't think the zombie's dead. <sighs> no, he's not. Oh, that's some quick shooting right there. You don't know me shoot that quick. <laughs> um, yeah, Richard's still dead. So I don't know where that zombie came from. He must have come through a door or something. Because he wasn't in there just a second ago. Um, okay, so... Maybe that's... Actually, I think we've got... Yeah, we can unlock these doors now. So we'll unlock this door. This big, big um, double door looks important. Might lead to another dining room or something. I don't know. Okay, I was not expecting this. Um, what? Woe to those who disturb my sleep. Um, there's a switch here. Press it. No, <laughs> not just yet. Maybe. Soon. There's something in this depression. But the grate is in the way and you can't reach it. Should we press the button? Can you push these um, statues? Yeah, you can push them. Okay, I just pushed them in. I don't think I should have done that. Maybe not. Alright, is there anything like standing out with these statues? Can I push them this way? Not far. Um, maybe this one. See, they get caught on the other ones. See, I don't really know why I'm going to be doing this. I feel like if I press the button without doing something, it's going to kill me. I mean, I can push them in. What just happened? Let me push this one in, see what happens. Okay, so he comes out when I push that one in. Maybe you need to push them all in, right? In a certain way, like a pattern. And then press the button. So, yeah. It seems like when you push one opposite the other one, it goes in. So if I push him in, is, it, is the one opposite going to come out? So they both come out. Okay. So I think you need to figure out a pattern, right? Because... If you push this one in, sorry, I'm not I'm pointing the screen, you can't see. If I push this one in, I'm standing in front of the one to the back right and the closest to the front left, um, they come out. So it's going to take me a little bit of time, guys, to figure this out. I'll, I'll do it, though. I think that's what you need to do. It would make sense. I think I've got it, guys. I think when you push this one in, the back left one goes in. Yeah. Uh, I can't control my character now, so it's done something. Right, so I feel safe to press the button now. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but I'm just going to go for it. Because they're all in now. Woe to those who disturb my sleep. There's a switch here. Press it. Yes. Now, I don't know what happens if you press the button when these statues are all out. Um, let's take that. My mysteri mysterious box. Will you take the jewelry box? Yes. Maybe you should check this out now. See what's inside it. Let's spin it around first because sometimes it's better to do that because you can see something then you can check it. Nothing stands out really. There's a design of a sun and the moon. On the plate it says, Sunshine will awaken me. Ooh. So maybe if you put it in the daylight or something it will open. Actually, can we use? It's not necessary to use this now. Yeah, so we need to um, get sunshine on this. Is there anywhere that was lit? Like, well lit? Like a, po like a podium or something? I'm trying to think. I don't think there was. Alright, so we've got something out there. We don't need to go there anymore. Um, this is where the, the broken doorknob door is. This door, when you go through it, you can't go back in. 
Is the doorknobs broken? I think. Oh no. I know that's the that's the broken doorknob one. Um, I think this door here is locked. Can we open this now? Yay! We unlocked another door. Making progress. Making progress. Spooky music. Pick up this red hair, then I'm gonna combine it with one of the green ones. Now, what do we have here? We've got a door there, there's a smashed photograph. There's a large scratch in this wall. It doesn't look like the work of those rotting freaks. So there's a new beast in here, scratching the walls. Um, you use the lockpick. Is that going to take us outside? Because normally when you use the lockpick on doors, it leads you outside. <laughs> Maybe a bathroom? I don't know. There's a fish tank. Uh, some kind of like science stuff going on here. All this biology. Um, an unlocked case. It's full of various biological reports. Yeah. Let me check out this. Will you take the fish hook? Yes. Various types of fish hooks. I don't know why I need the fish hook. Research as well. A letter slips inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. The rest of the letter is leg legible. It's a water tank. Smells like something once lived in there. Perhaps some someone was using it to raise some kind of creature. So the tank is empty. Doesn't seem to be much of anything to do in here. We got a fish hook. You can't carry any more items, so we could have picked that up. Um. Switch underneath. Press it. Oh. Okay. Nothing happens. Maybe it has something to do with the insect specimens. So, can I, let me see if I can use this. Yeah, just wanted to free a slot there. Cause I've got plenty of healing. So we're gonna pick that up. Collection of insect specimens. There's a switch underneath. Press it. Yes. Nothing happens. Maybe it has something to do with the insect specimens. I want to see if you can. No, I want to see if you could rearrange the specimens or something like that. But it's not like you can. Um. So we can pick up. Loads of these things. Maybe you have to switch these um these two things around. Oh my god. Bloody inventory. It's so frustrating. Alright, so I may maybe you need to put the the insects from that picture on that picture and this one on that one. You know what I mean? Just switch them around. Um I don't know what that would do. But for now we can't do that, so we're gonna carry on. And get a, hopefully find a chest somewhere, or maybe backtrack to one at some point. And um, look at this, there's more things to pick up. What is this? A first aid kit. Is that just for healing? That's not that important. There's a candle. Why are these lit? It would. Okay, there's more ink ribbons there. And looks like there's healing herbs, yes. Do you know, if you play as Chris as well, you know you only get six slots, which is ridiculous. I thought eight was nothing. Okay. So hopefully that, that first aid kit is nothing like an item you need to use. Hopefully it's just like a healing kit. I don't know. I don't know how if they're used in the game. But otherwise, um, we can't pick it up anyway. Okay. So, hang on. There's a chest down these stairs right here. There's a zombie there as well. I'm sure I killed the zombie before. I'm sure I've killed him. Like, got him dead, you know? I, I killed him on the stairs. So maybe that doesn't kill him properly. Like, it kind of glitches out maybe. I don't know. So I'm going to kill him on the top floor. Normally if they drop twice by bullets, that's them dead. Yeah, he should be dead. Yeah, he's bleeding out. That's good. So hopefully he stays dead now. Oh, what's that? There was a 
poster on the wall there. That looked new. Maybe someone's left a note. But before we do carry on, let's see. Um, what the fuck? Right, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to read what that note says. Maybe Barry's left equipment for me or something. Because there's a lot of stuff on the floor there. You see that? Um, What does this say? I left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble, Barry. <laughs> Barry is such a crazy guy. <laughs> Why don't we just stick together? It's stupid. It's really stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously because the game probably couldn't run like an AI properly, that like a cooperative AI that would work well in this situation. So that's probably why he's not with you. But you know, if you're looking at it in like a, a real life situation, you would obviously stick together. Um, I'm gonna put all my stuff like in here just to make space. The serum that was made for Richard, we don't need that anymore. It seems maybe we'll use that for something else at some point. Um, don't need. I'm gonna put the healing back. Right, that's things we kind of do need: ammo, gun, and key. Okay, so I just picked up all the stuff um, that Barry left us. The healing sprays, ammo, there was incendiary ammo as well. Um, I've still got the bug in my inventory because I want to go back to that room and see if you can switch the bugs around. Because there's another one you can pick up on the, other, on the other picture and there's buttons to press. So maybe if you switch the two bugs around, you can make them do something. I don't know. I'm just grabbing straws here. Don't really know what I'm doing. So let's go to this one. So will you take the bee specimen? Yes. Assorted fishing rods. Okay. Now if I grab this gold one, I use it. I put it there. You can see it on the picture now. And I put the other one here. Ho ho ho. Let's press the button now. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hang on a second. This one. Oh, they're all fish hooks. Okay. See, so that's a lure of B. So it's with the fishing lures. So it should be on that on that picture frame. That's a specimen. Uh, are these all specimens? A collection of insect specimens. So that's on the right picture frame, I'd say. Maybe I should put the fishing hook. Oh, okay. Guys, I did it. I think I know what I've done. That's a lure. A lure of the bee. And the gold hook was made for the gold bee. And uh, I didn't have a hook on it. So, uh, if I put this on this now. Okay, so maybe this will work if I press the button. And uh, we'll take the bee specimen. Now it's in the right place. Leave it there. Press it. Oh, <laughs> we did it. Okay. So there's something now to be... Okay, the bee's alive. Um, shit. Shit. Is that going to kill me? What do I do? Do I shoot it? I can't take a bullet. It took, a bu it took two bullets to kill it. It's not dead. Is it dead? Holy shit. It took it's like two or three bullets to kill it. I'm going to um, just pick up this thing now and leave the room. <laughs> Shit. The wind crest. Okay, the shape of that looks like it fits. I've seen somewhere where that might fit. I can't remember though where it goes. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all we got time for. I've just saved. So we've got a save point. We've made some progress like there. We're getting them um, more items that we don't actually know what are used for. <laughs> so in the next part we'll hopefully with these new items that we've got, this new crest and all that stuff. We'll hopefully fit it into something to solve a puzzle, maybe open up more doors, give ourselves more items to use somewhere else. So thanks for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye.